Nine two one forty seven. How about a 942 left side at 150? Right side goes 922. All right, day two, <clears throat> we are here. Um, we are fourth in line. Ended the day yesterday, amazing. Did a really good job. I'm super pumped about it. So today, right off the bat, this morning we're not making any changes. So air ride is the same. Um, strut dampness is the same. 22.5 uh, is the air pressure in the back. So we're gonna roll with that to start today and kind of go from there. The goal is to maybe try and get a 9-1 if we can. If I do that, that'll be it for the day. Um, I really just wanna keep figuring out the car itself. Uh, obviously, I haven't raced in a long time, but it's like riding a bike, um, obviously, because my times kept getting better. Um, the only other difference too is I was on pump E85. It was just Sunoco pump E85. And today we are running with Ignite Red. Again, I don't know what kind of difference it's gonna make. <clears throat> Yesterday it was reading E74. As of this morning, we put about five gallons in and obviously there's some some, some Sunoco still left. So it's reading E82. Um, I'm sure as we get some more of that Sunoco out, it'll read a little closer to E85. I don't know if it's gonna go above E85 to do like E90 or something. I highly doubt it, and I don't know how much it's going to really affect this car, to be 100% honest with you. So transmission is all warmed up. What you want to do, um, <clears throat> especially on a stock car, um, even when you have a built transmission, it uh, doesn't matter what make or model, is you want to take it, you can either jack up the rear and just let it run for a few minutes, or what I like to do, especially when we're adding more fuel to get better content, is we'll drive around for like five to seven minutes, let the temperature in the transmission get cool get warm um, and then that way get in line pop the hood let the engine cool down and then that way your tranny is warmed up and then your engine supercharger should be nice and cool so that's what I like to do just as a heads up for you guys so let's get into it today and wish me luck the goal today is work on the 60 foot so if I don't get a good 60 foot I'm really just gonna stop roll through the rest of the track then pull around and do it again so the goal for today is get as many passes as I can work on the 60 foot see if I can get a little better ET than yesterday for sure. <laughs>
2, 147. Share with the clouds? Alright, well, uh, 60 foot was still not, it was a 135, it's still not my best, and we got a 919 at 149.7. Freaking did it! So, 9 1! 9 1 9. We'll take it! Well, <clears throat> glad the camera just died because your boy just went 9 1 at 149.75. So, let's go see if we can do it again. <laughs> We did it boys and three girls so let's see what we got that felt really good i'm starting to get the hang of this now i'll explain in a different video but this is the literally exact opposite of my charger so charger i would start in second and just literally smash the gas this is more of a uh feather thin smash and it's uh it's so much different than what i'm used to because for like muscle memory, which I know sounds stupid, but it's a real thing. For muscle memory, it's just like, it's not even the same fucking thing. So, uh, just learning. And it's been really good so far. And I've pretty much figured out the suspension. We're going to see what this is looking like. Thanks, boss. You're welcome. 918 149.47 60 foot 134 we still have room my best 60 foot of the day was 131 and I'm at 918 so This is going to be the last pass, 315, 57 degrees out. Let's go do one more, and then we're going to go home. All right, my draggy is not working. I think it's dead. So this will be the only video you guys get. So I don't know. This will be the last pass of the day. So we'll see what it does, and we'll kind of go from there. And then I'm heading home because i got a five-hour drive. So, I left the track about 45 minutes ago. 
Um, decided to leave early because Amarillo is getting super cold weather. And I didn't really want to drive in like zero degree weather from Dallas to Amarillo. So, ended up leaving. But, man, man, what a, what a great weekend. My goal this weekend was literally, I just wanted to get a feel for the car. And I was like, if I ran a 9-2, which I told everybody before, I don't know if I mentioned it on camera, I would be over the moon, okay? <clears throat> you got to remember, number one, I have not drag raced in three years. It's been 37 months actually, but three years. So the last time I raced was actually at Motorplex when I ran like 10 890s uh, and made it to the semifinals of TJ Bailey's race over there. So, and then I got beat by my tuner in the semifinals. But, um, so like the, my goal was just to run like a 9-2 and I ended up running a 9-1 super happy 131 60 foot is my best i did some 133s 134 so that's pretty good that means there's room for improvement with the demon and i'm super excited about it um it was just a really good really good weekend super pumped about it um there's just so much more that i can do with the car and uh if i have a chance to maybe do another test test night in Dallas I might go so we'll see kind of what happens with that um, but it was is really good to be honest so I had a really good time and um, it's just cool being able to to do to do this so like first of all I need to give a huge shout out to destroy 1320 on Instagram uh, if you guys don't know he makes all the awesome uh, neutral tab blocker pullers that you can put in your challenger or charger and he makes a bunch of other cool stuff for security so he is one of my sponsors so without him I wouldn't be able to race this weekend so thank you destroyer 1320 I really appreciate it um, I'm excited to be working with him this year so this whole weekend was sponsored by him and there's gonna be a lot more races sponsored by destroyer 1320 so if you guys need any if you guys need any security devices, I will link them. They're super easy to install. I'm gonna install one on all my cars. I'm gonna show you guys also kind of like how it goes. Um, but you can literally put them on any Mopar product and I'll show you guys that in a different video. Also gotta give a huge shout out to Leroy and Randy with Happy Trailers and Happy Trailers Motorsports. So like I told you guys before, um, I'm the first sponsored racer for Happy Trailers Motorsports. And I'm taking it very serious. So it's super cool because, you know, I don't own a truck or a trailer. And the, you know, they're gonna tow my my car to pretty much any race that I wanna go to. Leroy's gonna take time out of his work schedule. And obviously it's for their business, but it's awesome because I don't have to buy a truck or a trailer. And they get to tow my, my car pretty much, pretty much anywhere I wanna go. If I'm like, hey, Leroy, there's a race in, you know, whatever, right? Like uh, Florida. All right, awesome. Let's load up and go. So it's pretty cool. So I got a huge shout out to them. I've known Leroy and Randy for a while. They were members of my old gym and then Leroy is pretty high up at Happy Trailers and he's trying to do this whole motorsports division and I'm super stoked about it. And Randy also works there now too. So I just want to give a huge shout out to both those companies um, because without them, like stuff like this wouldn't be able to happen. Um, so I'm really just pumped and excited to be in the position, position that I am today. So, um, there's gonna be a lot, <laughs> a lot more racing coming to the channel and man, it just feels good. It feels so good to be back racing. You guys have literally no idea what it feels like to get in a car with only 90 fucking miles on it and do some testing. So literally the only miles that this car has on it is driving it to David's shop, driving it <laughs> back to the gym, loading it up on Leroy's trailer, and the rest is just hits at the drag strip. So I'm super excited about it. I'm, I'm pumped, man. I'm, I'm, so, I'm so pumped about it. Um, 
So hopefully you guys like the style of content. And uh, man, it's gonna be a good year. I just, ooh, I just feel it. You know, you just, it's one of those things you just, you ever get that feeling like your balls are tingling? Well, my balls are tingling and I'm super excited. So I'll see you guys in the next video. My name is Kev Van Porus. I'm out this bitch.